Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog entry. Again going off the YouTube app because I've still not got down to the root of the issue that I've got before at the moment, as I mentioned in the last vlog. Now I'm making this vlog because I've had a pretty awesome day. Many of you already are well aware of this because I it was put all over Facebook and Twitter. Um <laughs> Me and my dad went out today. Um, I was up, I was up around about eleven o'clock this morning, and uh, we went to Scarborough, uh, North Yorkshire. So about an hour or so away from where I'm from, where I live in Hull. So I went on the train with my dad, and uh, before we set off, we were set off to go to the train station. Um. I checked my phone, as I always do, and I had this really awesome message or comment and um, and also a like and a retweet of something that I posted on Twitter. So I checked it out and discovered it was a um, comment, retweet, retweet and a like. From a voice actor called Michael Richard Dobson, or Michael jo Michael Dobson, um, as is more commonly known. And uh, he voiced Starscream in the Unicron trilogy, Armada, Cybertron and Energon. And uh, what he commented on was on, a, obviously, a, a drawing. Um, I did a drawing, I, put, I, post, I finished and posted a couple days ago, um, a drawing of Starscream. It was based on a figure that I've got in my collection, uh, Make Toys, uh, Make Toys, Galaxy Meteor, which is based on the Cybertron Starscream. And uh, yeah, so I did a I did a drawing based on that figure, and uh, posted it on Twitter and Facebook. And yeah, he was commented he commented on that, liked it, and retweeted it. And the comment has re was really really nice. Um, he basically said, "I basically along the lines of, I love this. Thank you so much. Um, you are a very uh, talented artist, and all this, all that, those words." And I just read it over and over, and I thought, "Right, is this too good to be true?" Because obviously today was April Fools, and uh, I thought, "Is someone making a, you know, doing a practical joke on me?" And uh, I thought, you know, because sometimes when you get a celebrity, you, you, sometimes it could be like a, a fake account doing it on, on their behalf or just a fake account in general. But um, I checked out I checked out the fit, the actual Twitter page and they had an IMDB on, but that doesn't say everything. Um, you know, just because they've got an ID, IMDB thing, anyone can link an IMDB page to their Twitter. Um, but yeah, so I checked that out and it had pretty much everything he did in his career. Uh, but then I actually did a Google search and I actually searched for his official, for his actual Twitter. Um, and it came up and it was that exact one, so it matched. So yeah, I am incredibly blessed and thankful and grateful for the kind words that he brought me. That he that, about the the drawing that I did, I didn't I didn't at it at anyone. I didn't follow it or tag him in it or anything because I you know I didn't really have him in mind when I was drawing it to be honest. Um, and it was just such a surprise out of the blue. Um, he must have I, I don't know when he did it, but obviously he's he lives in Canada, so I'm guessing he must have done it early hours in the morning when I was asleep and it, it came through. Um, maybe came through when I got it, when the notifications pinged on my phone. But uh, yeah, it was it was amazing, just amazing to read that. Uh, such an awesome guy, such a nice guy. I would love to meet him. Uh, this is just a quick message to TF Nation crew if they're watching. Please, please, possible bring him to TF Nation in the future, please, 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 please. please. I'd love to meet the guy. Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, the Unicron Trilogy isn't great, it really isn't great, but I like, uh, you know, he's one of my iconic characters, 
Uh, you know, so, and that's uh, his take on Starscream. I find is my one of my iconic favorites because he reminds me so much of the great late Chris Latter. You know, obviously the voice he puts on is inspired by Chris Latter, but it's his own personal spin on it as well. And uh, you know, Chris Latter is Starscream. He that was his natural voice, just a bit emulated, not emulated, just you know, with a little bit more emphasis on it, should I say, to make it sound the way it did. But you know, Chris Latter had a very high pitched, grovelly voice, uh, or raspy voice, should I say, and uh, yeah, and obviously his voice, you know, that was Starscream, uh, and I love Chris Latter. He did. He was a great voice actor, and he did a great job playing the characters he played in Star in Transformers as well as Starscream. But Michael Dobson, for me personally, he, you know, I just feel that he did such a great job playing that character. Um, other people may vary, but I feel he, you know, how he did the voice. It was his own spin, but you could definitely see the essence of Starscream in that in that. In his performance, um, but obviously I should say it was the English dub anyway. But you know, because obviously it was a uh, of the Unicron trilogy it was actually Japanese, it's, uh, anime. But uh, wow, so today's been pretty cool actually, been pretty pretty cool because of that. I've just been on, it's been kind of in cloud nine, completely just, you know, commenting on Facebook and Twitter, talking about it all pretty much all day. And had a great amount of support and comments from great people, great friends. You know, it's not every day that I get things like this. I mean, there has been a couple of instances on Twitter um, where, you know, I've had some pretty out the blue awesome things that have just blown my mind. You know, Michael Dobson is literally one of them. And then having a really nice converse, couple of conversations um, with Neil Kaplan. Now, Neil Kaplan is on Twitter, uh, and I he went to TF Nation and also a, a very early auto assembly as well. Um, and he's a, I find him a really nice guy. Um, I don't care what people say about him because of what's happened in the past with certain convention appearances or something. I don't know. There's certain things going around, but I don't look into shit like that anymore. I think you know it's just no it's no point. Life's too short to look into things like that. But I found him a really nice guy. He's a very talented actor, very talented actor, voice actor. And um, basically, I ended up getting into a conversation with him about a character he plays in the new Voltron series. Uh, Netflix and DreamWorks, Voltron, the legendary Defender series. He plays Zarkon. He plays Emperor Zarkon, or whatever his name is. Uh, not Emperor Zarkon. Anyway, he plays Zarkon anyway. And personally, how it all. Let me just let me just adjust myself. That's better. Basically, how it started off was um, I did a bit of research into the voice. I didn't realize it was my. Uh, I didn't realize it was Neil at first, because if you listen, if you if you've been watching any of Legend, Legendary Defender, Zarkon sounds a bit like Michael Kevin Richardson. He has a very, very low gra voice, and he sounds like him. And I assumed it was. And then when I le looked on uh, Google, and it said Neil Kaplan, I was like, bloody hell. I had no idea it was him. And then I, I commented just saying, you know, um, at Neil Kaplan, I actually did at at that point. I said, at Neil Kaplan, you know, I think you did it. I think I love... Um, uh, Voltron, legend, legendary defender. I love your your work. Uh, I, th I think you, you know, the voice of Zarkon you did was fantastic, and just just that. And he came back and he says, "Oh, so thank you very much for your kind words, and I'm glad you enjoyed it." And he asked me how I was, and I and I asked him how he was, and we ended up having a good conversation for a good ten minutes on Twitter, and it happened on two separate occasions as well because he actually commented. <laughs> To me, telling me that there's going to be a second season, so he actually let me know there was a second season in the pipeline as well. Um, and then the next one was Tara Strong, who is one of my biggest 
Oh, she's up there with the greats for me. Um, Tara Strong liked something I posted and followed me. So <laughs> Tara Strong's following me on Twitter. But anyway, so people will be like, seriously, you get amused, you get, you know, you get really happy over the most random and obscure things. But yeah, maybe you do. But it brings, it makes me feel so good to think that these really talented and really busy people are so open and and uh, so kind and so nice to kind of do that because, you know. Tara Strong is literally an A-list voice actor, and she's she's incredibly busy, constantly working, uh, constantly on new shows and new projects, and took the time to actually like and comment on something that uh, a few years ago, and actually follow me, which was just mind blowing. And then Michael Dobson recently, and having and then having a nice conversation with Neil Kaplan a couple of times as well. You know, it's it's so awesome. It doesn't happen every day. It's only happened a couple of times, but I am just so 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 blessed and grateful to, for Michael Dobson's very kind words. Really, really, you know, it's just amazing. Today's just been a blur for me. It's just been a whirlwind. Um, but I put up a comment uh, about an half an hour to an hour ago saying that. Uh, saying that basically the whole drawing thing if i mean i would have carried i would have carried on doing it regardless uh but with with those kind card, card words it's just really started to make me want to carry on doing it and really continue drawing because that's really spared me on to continue drawing and hopefully maybe improve a little bit now and again you know, it's just awesome. But anyway, so that's what I wanted to talk about in this vlog. It's, today's just been an awesome day. And, uh, yeah, back to work tomorrow. But uh, I'm not going to let that bother me because I'm on cloud nine at the moment. So I'm going to go into work with a nice positive attitude, uh, which is cool. But anyway, so thank you for watching, my friends. And uh, until next time, stay awesome. See you soon.